15 years ago, there was a huge gap to fill in Nigeria's medical industry. Many vendors of clinical laboratory equipment, reagents and consumables were mostly non-medical professionals who lacked the required professionalism to sell and distribute these equipment. This year started out of a burning desire um, to provide some kind of reform in the way we manage our patient samples in the lab. We observed that uh, the most handlers of uh, laboratory uh, products as at 2005 are people who don't really know what they are selling. They are businessmen who and women who just um, um, you know, buy goods, make their profit, and sell them and make their profit, and that's all. We decided to um, bring a change because if the product gets bad from the market, it trickles down to the lab and by extension to the patient because then the result will be misleading to the doctor. So because of that, we decided to take space. And now, DCL Laboratory Products Limited is indeed bridging the huge gap in Nigeria's medical industry. Thanks to the vision, doggedness, wits, wisdom, and leadership prowess of Mr. Anya Wu Child. The drive to make sure that patient safety is um, not compromised is a major factor that continue to drive us till this moment. And I can tell you that now we have about 147, 48 people delivering excellent uh, laboratory products and services um, across uh, West Africa. We are not just in Nigeria, we're in Ghana, Liberia, Sierra Leone, and we're still expanding across West Africa. DCL has uniquely occupied a niche in the IVD market, providing unparalleled customer service and values for our immediate community. By providing quality and sustainable laboratory solutions, supply installation and maintenance of medical lab equipment, reagents and consumables, affordable products and services, after-sales support and extended warranty obligations, support laboratories in the areas of clinical chemistry, hematology, histopathology, immunohistochemistry, blood banking, molecular pathology, immunology and microbiology, among others. As a result of strong partnerships with world-acclaimed manufacturers of laboratory products, DCL has been able to help enhance quality healthcare, increase handling and logistic efficiencies, and expand access to healthcare infrastructure. When um, equipment come here, before the equipment are taken out, they will pass through our quality control department. So this helps to um, identify problems early and uh, solve them. Or even sometimes the instrument is not even taken out at all. It's replaced here before it even, the instrument even goes to the customers. So they are playing um, a lot of role. So these things are unique to us. Um, power has been a problem in the country generally. Um, it hasn't been easy generally. Um, of course, to solve the problem, we decided to bring in a power inverter. Uh, we brought in a generator. Of course, there is NEPA. Um, the, 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 our NEPA charges the inverter and sometimes there is no um, state electricity for a very long time and we have to depend on generator to charge the inverter. But the bottom line is that the inverter is always on and that's exactly what is part in our system, especially our code room. Uh, it may also interest you to know that um, we get um, SMS every five minutes from our code room uh, to tell us if there is a temperature, if temperature has gone beyond where it should be, or maybe there's power failure, or there is a, any problem at all, we get the report every five minutes. And if everything is also normal, we still get a report every five minutes from the code room. So all of these things we have put together for patient safety to make sure that the quality of what we are providing to the Nigerian hospitals that are going to be used for the Nigerian patients are in line with acceptable 
international standards. The palpable impact DCL has made in the IVD market has seen it rise to becoming the laboratory supply company of the year across Nigeria in the last five years and in the subsistent year across the entire West Africa. And this achievement didn't come without daunting challenges. Ah, the challenges have been enormous, I must say. But at the same time, I will tell you that um, with the zeal, the drive in mind, those challenges become easy. The challenges of power, the challenges of uh, funding, to get funding to uh, manage the organization, to be able to achieve all the set goals for the company, uh, being able to um, you know, reach out to the, uh, uh, to the healthcare professionals, uh, involve uh, quite a lot. And also understanding that the market is uh, price driven, being able to educate the people also about quality, you know, and then being able to install that quality in our system from the beginning. All of these things are challenges, but like I said, the drive is stronger than those challenges. And even in the face of those challenges, we continued in that drive. And today, we are ISO 9001-2015 certified, and we continue in that um, part of, uh, of, of quality. In one of the most challenging years the world has ever seen, DCL was up to the task and took the lead in battling the pandemic in Nigeria and across other nations. With its rare creativity and consistent investments in the medical sector, as well as the drive and commitment from the dynamic CEO, DCL responded to the Clarion call and participated hugely in the national response against COVID-19 pandemic. With its past experience in tackling novel health emergencies, the federal government was proud of DCL's involvement and expertise in the IVD supply market. Since the um, unfortunate arrival of COVID-19 in Nigeria, I must tell you that um, um, we have been really very busy. Um, we see this as a challenge and a time to show our um, support to the country in the fight against um, this dreaded disease. Um, we have worked closely with uh, different state government, um, government agencies and even donor agencies. And um, I can tell you that um, we've been able to set up more than 30 functional COVID-19 labs delivering excellent um, results um, since um, the unfortunate arrival of COVID in the country. Um, some of these centers are producing not less than 400 samples in a day. So this has greatly increased our overall testing capacity in the country and still expanding. More and more labs are being set up every day by our team. People are trained. Labs uh, receive, uh, the labs receive um, accreditation from the regulatory body, uh, CDC. DCO partnerships cut across private sectors, private equity companies, venture capitalists, NGOs, community-based organizations, faith-based organizations, public hospitals, secondary and tertiary hospitals, international donor agencies, international organizations, and many more. As a result of its top-notch work ethics, DCL's responses to combating the pandemic were warmly received by stakeholders in the health industry from the public and private sector. DCL provided the technical support with regard to the selection of the right equipment as well. And um, we passed them the list and they provided the equipment. Now we are happy that we are at the level of installation of those equipment and training of the personnel that are going to work in the lab. DCL plays significant role from inception of the idea on how we come up with the design of the lab. They do help us um, with the right equipment. Then um, they equally help with the installation of this equipment and training particularly on how to utilize those equipments that have been provided. Uh, I'm really, really grateful for having this lab here in the hospital. 
Um, I am really, really satisfied. You've seen the environment, you've seen the equipment, you've seen the more well-motivated staff being trained. Um, this means that this is just uh, probably uh, the beginning of good things to come. It means that uh, we have enhanced capacity for research, service delivery, and training. Uh, DCL, uh, I think, uh, is, is not a new name. Uh, it's a partner to, that uh, need to actually work with people uh, everywhere. Uh, it's not new in this environment as well. We have uh, uh, a molecular laboratory, a collaboration between the Abakatafawa University Johnson, the university that was supported by Ted Fund and the um, Bauchi state government. Um, it's uh, actually diesel uh, that equipped that one. And in fact, it's because of the experience we had with them uh, in terms of the nature of the equipment that was supplied, in terms of the training they provided when they uh, actually uh, installed those equipments and the continued collaboration with them, uh, that is actually what made them unique and uh, is a very good experience, very good one. Uh, we hope to continue to work with this year. This lab will enhance uh, the fight against um, COVID-19. And don't forget that COVID-19 is just maybe one of the diseases that can be diagnosed in this laboratory. With expansion and improved equipment, we will also be able to make diagnosis of other diseases that are bedeviling our own particular region. As part of its social corporate responsibilities, DCL continues to invest massively into public-private partnerships across the country. Also, over 2,000 laboratory professionals have been trained for free in the use of diagnostic tools, pre-analytical training, clinical meetings, webinars, and workshops. Yes, it's a milestone for us being part of the um, intervention process, setting up the Response Molecular Laboratory and being part of it is a huge project by federal government and we are glad that ATBUTH is the first launching out in the whole Northeast region. It was a bit challenging having people who have not been exposed to molecular laboratory diagnostic procedures trained. Okay, some of them is just their first time getting to know what molecular laboratory looks like but we are glad that uh, we are able to surmount it. We are also there to provide a two, four, seven um, support to them, you know, all around from the DCL team. Training went very well. We we're very happy with the training. Um, we started the training on Friday with instrumentation and installation. The staffs were generous, more interactive, and we have established good rapport with them. So they carried us along with them and they tried to address our major challenges. I've learned how to use the machines, how to troubleshoot at certain level, and also call for help when I could not address some issues. Then also um, how to train others that are not on ground. So like the training is preparing me to be a trainer in the future.
We've gotten um, lots of equipment from this year and so far so good. We've not had cause to regret buying materials or equipment from this year. Yes, we are satisfied. They are of top-notch quality. Yes. One of the trademarks or one of the reasons why we are still continuing with this year is how much we've observed that they've invested in terms of human resources. They have persons that are in charge of different machines. For example, our um, hematology analyzer, the team that services that is quite different from the team that comes to see electrolyte light machine. It's also different from the team that installed the biosafety cabinet. Different from the team that handles the um, immunoassay machines. So it's rare to find an organization here in Nigeria that does that. Because you, end, you tend to see one person come around to service the entire equipment that they've supplied the lab with. But that's not this year. So expertise, give it to this year. They are, they, are, they are good at that. If the machines are not of good quality, the products or our results, of course, will not be accurate, will not be reliable, and we will not be able to reproduce that in all our reports. So yet, um, these materials or equipment are of good quality. In terms of the fight against COVID, the biosafety cabinet we use, which is one of the key components of any lab that wants to go into COVID testing. We got that from this year. And I can tell you that we've not had people that, or staff that used the machine come down with COVID. Cedar Crest as a brand, we're not going to business with companies that we know that their machines are not of good quality. So for us to be do doing business with this year, means one, we trust their products and they are, of course, um, we've been getting good results from machines that we've, from tests we've done using their machines. I am satisfied with the equipment from this year. We have um, quite a number of um, laboratory equipment that we acquired from the this year, and um, they have worked for us properly. They've helped to increase our uptake, and they've also helped to increase the quality service that we deliver. Because most of their machines are advanced machines, they are highly definitive machines, and this helps to maintain the quality. So irrespective of how many times you run a test, once the controls have passed, you're able to get quality results at the end of the day. And this is what helps the clients of a firm care. The after sales service quality that we have gotten from DCL is actually very remarkable. So we have um, service contracts with them and they also send in the engineers whenever we have um, issues. And um, I'm located less than 20 minutes drive to them. So maybe that plays a role because they are always here to support us whenever we need support in the lab. The current management of the University of Abuja Teaching Hospital under the leadership of Professor Misala Ekele came into office in 2017. And one of the early persons to make impact was DCL Laboratories because very early in the administration, DCL brought equipment that helped in no small way to ensure that most of our laboratory needs were met. 
and it touched on almost all the parts or the areas in our laboratory from microbiology, hematology, and chemistry. And I can tell you that when I became the Chairman Medical Advisory Committee shortly after, it was one of those things that equally made my work much, much easier because the challenge we had before now where reagents are not available, the equipments are broken down and things like that, you know, became very much minimized. And I can confirm to you that currently we have not less than four equipments that have been placed in our hospital by DCL Laboratory. So the DCL Laboratory as a corporate entity has also come to the aid of the hospital in terms of corporate social responsibility. And if you go to our main laboratory now, you will see that there is ex extensive renovation work that DCL has done. And to us, beyond just giving us reagents, placing equipment, that is very significant in terms of service delivery. And I can tell you that not many companies that are even benefiting from the system have done that for us. So DCL stands out in all its uh, ramifications. I'm very, very satisfied to uh, all the equipment that DCL has supplied to us. Um, for three years now, we've not had any reason to call back DCL, maybe to change the equipment or to come and... They only come for their maintenance at the right time. And you don't even need to call them. At the right time, they come and do their maintenance and go back. There is no problem with their machines. The impact is, is so much. As we we're opening our lab from the beginning, I thought it's just equipment, but this year is not just equipment. This year started from survey, the land plan, where the setting of the equipment. They did everything, everything. And beyond what they're supposed to do, the X-ray is something next. The molecular guy comes every day to make sure things are done the way it's supposed to be. And you know, what is so amazing is that they validate most of the machines before they bring it down to this place. Most people in Nigeria here, you find that when they're supplying their equipment, they don't care about validation. If it comes to error, you can't get error here. So cuts it this year. We get audited by um, our clients. We get audited by even our vendors. So um, auditing is one of the things that have gotten us to where we are today. We don't compromise quality in anything we're we are doing. And uh, that is why um, many people come to us. We want to stop many of the things we import. We want to produce them here locally. This is our Ultimate, um, ultimate goal at this time and we are going to do we are doing everything possible to make sure that this is actualized within the shortest possible time uh, my function as the head of department is to really ensure strict adherence to all these supply chain processes from um, procurement to inventory to logistics to storage um, to also ensure that we bring in products at the right condition, the right specification, in the right price, the right time, to also ensure that um, we have proper and adequate storage of these items we bring in into the country, and to also ensure timely dispatch and delivery of items to our customers, thereby supporting customer service, making our customers happy. If you don't procure the right item, if you don't follow up for the item to actually come down to us, it's going to really cause a chaos. And then you have to choose the right item to get to the right customer. And not only getting to the right customer, the best means of transport. Because we deal on the coaching and the non-coaching, and there are different ways of transporting them. The department will have the opportunity where we interact directly with the manufacturers. We equally visit their facilities where these equipment are produced and then we obtain first-hand um, training from the manufacturers. And based on this, we're able to give local support. The uh, goal, our objective of the sales department is embedded in the general goal of the company. So members of the sales department and the sales unit are going to also be going in the same directions, helping the company to achieve their goals in the near future, you know, making provisions of goods and services 
locally and then serving more customers beyond Nigeria and then taking the whole of the West Africa and then probably covering the rest of Africa. The Human Resource is the department that is saddled with the responsibility of getting the best talent for the organization that will assist in the achievement of the organizational goals. This is also the department that is saddled with the responsibility of making sure that we stick to ISO 9000 and 1015 that we are already satisfied to. So we do that by ensuring that there's compliance with regards to the policies and procedures that have been implemented by um, steady internal control and auditing programs. On daily basis, you are talking in terms of cleaning, and a relevant facility, safety facility like overall kids. We have to provide all those things for staff for the smooth operation of the company. This year, as an organization, need uh, the services of our IT department. We we have a, a system that we deployed called the the Enterprise Resource Planning, which is uh, the ERP. So this system um, helps us for our day to days, for basically for the running of the company's um, product. A lot of trainings that we have introduced for our new intake staffs. As we celebrate our remarkable feats in these past years, we look forward to even greater frontiers in the coming years with more partnerships and opportunities from our esteemed clients and quality service in various capacities from our world-class staff. DCL says thank you. The staff of DCL um, are the biggest and the greatest asset of DCL. They are the um, engine room of the company. And uh, I appreciate, appreciate all of them. Uh, I want to also thank um, our uh, clients, even our, and our vendors, even the people who, um, our partners abroad. Um, I want to thank um, the Nigerian healthcare support team, the doctors, lab scientists, the nurses. And I want to thank Nigerians uh, for their confidence in us. And um, I can, only say that uh, it will only be better going forward. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Imelao. Eshegongo. Esheo. Nagodi. Let's do it again. Congratulations. It's been a highly rewarding 15 years with you.